Welcome back, everybody. Hope you're all having a fantastic day out there. We got some big breaking news that just came in moments ago. I want to get out to all in timely fashion, guys. Everything from good, bad, and ugly, everything in between, but breaking news nonetheless. All I ever ask is if you do like talking about Ripple and XRP, guys, you know what to do. Drop an X, smash the like button, and share the video. Let others around the world know what is truly happening in this digital revolution. Now, first, guys, I do want to say my prayers go out to former President Donald Trump and his family as there has been an attempted assassination at a Trump rally. Now, whether you're for Trump or not for Trump, regardless is irrelevant because this is the world that we live in now. We must protect ourselves. We must protect our families, guys. We live in a very harsh, cold, violent world. That is just the facts. Now, on the back side of that, we saw Elon Musk come out and endorse President Donald Trump following this attack. Also, I'm told that the shooter has been killed. So with that all being said, prayers go out to Donald Trump. Moving forward, we're seeing a price pump from the market right now. XRP was up about 20% at one point here today. It has lost about half of that, up about 10% at the time of this recording. A lot of people speculating on why it's up. Guys, there is no one single big catalyst for XRP right now and why it is moving. There is a lot of speculation. and I did a video yesterday. Uh, please go back and watch that if you haven't already after this video where I talk about what we have right now for XRP, guys, is a perfect perfect storm. Fundamentally, fundamentally, technically, right, from the technical Bollinger Bands like I spoke on, but just an overall array large amount of catalysts we know are coming guys there's not one single catalyst right now other than the fact that many are speculating that yes this could be the month this month of july could be the end of this case finally we could hear from judge torres also i do want to say happy anniversary to all of you out there as this is one year exactly one year from when it came out beautifully said from judge torres the xrp in and itself is not a security in fact i put on my community tab if you haven't already subscribed quick plug subscribe you'll get in on our community tab i said shout out to the xrp army your endless strength is unmatched through the good times and the bad today we celebrate our one year anniversary, our biggest victory ever, and that XRP is not a security. And that is just it, guys. We go through a lot of hard times, right? We go through bear markets. We go through long slumps where XRP just doesn't seem to be moving. Feels as though it's never going to move. And I said in a video about a week ago, uh, it seems as though a lot of us at this point are just numb because in our hearts, in our minds, we know where this is going, but it does seem as though it is taking far too long. And it has, it has taken years, guys, but we know what is coming. And that is why, regardless what is thrown at us, whatever FUD comes at us, we are relentless because we know what is coming. They call it confirmation bias. The FUDders will call it confirmation bias. What comes in the word confirmation is confirm. We have confirmation. We, we have confirmed that the institutions want XRP. And when we are done with this SEC case, all I have to say to the Fudders is, yes, I hope you are ready. Now, lastly, guys, I want to put this on your radar. This, this was from CEO of Ripple, Brad Garlinghouse himself. He said, July 13th, 2023, that day was a very good day for Ripple and the entire industry. And for me personally, a core memory. We had the conviction to fight the bully that had harassed and executed an unlawful war on our industry. As I said, when it started, I knew we were on the right side of the law and that we would be on the right side of history. Finally, in the year since, Gensler's SEC has ramped up its war on crypto with a false belief that they could smother this technology and industry with failed lawsuits, failed rhetoric, slander, intimidation. They were wrong then and they are wrong now. Guys, we will win and we are winning today and we will win in the future. I can promise you that. That's all I got for you for now, guys. If you don't mind clicking the like button, subscribe button, drop an X. We'll see you in the next one.